Hello everybody, Captain Spidey Fist is back again, and I'm probably just going to end up doing all of these me uh, videos today. You know, I'm still I'm still doing them from whenever I started a little while ago. Uh, I started with Rex, and now we're down here to SK. This is Skull Kid, and this is probably going to be the easiest one to show you how to make, because nothing you do on him actually matters except for the color of his skin, so that way it matches the color of Skull Kid's skin, and it's just this, uh, this basic color here. So go to his face, and it doesn't matter which face you choose. You can choose any of them. And then just give him... Either one of these fits for Skull Kid. I gave him this one. So I did give him uh, like this real small face. And I, I didn't intend for it to, to look like that until I had made it. And then I thought it looked so funny that that's, that's just what I left it at. Then I'll go ahead and show you if you want to make the face like this. Just because, I don't know. Uh, here's the all the, way, all the way small, you know, and uh, kind of right here in the middle. And then... <laughs> I just, I tried to line it up about right there with the nose. <laughs> I just think it looks so funny. Um, I went with these, uh, you know, little, little pig nose thing right there. And then it, it's about right in the middle. And then for the mouth, I gave him like this. He kind of, he kind of looks like a really smushed face, Bobby Hill. Uh, so I went with that mouth there, uh, as small as it goes. And then the position about right there. Uh, then the color doesn't matter for it. Didn't give him any facial hair or mole. And you'll see uh, why this is so... <laughs> Sorry, I just think it's so funny. You'll see why, you know, it doesn't really matter about the face whenever we actually get over here and we actually get into looking at the character. There's Captain Jack again, for anybody who is following along. So, there's Skull Kid. And you see, none of the things that I just did actually matter except for the color that I turned him. Uh, Skull Kid, Skull Kid's hat, his outfit. I just gave him this, uh, this you know, kind of gray-brown brackish color and then for the moves I gave him the flashing mock punch the burning drop kick the soaring axe kick and the faint jump and I just really like the the super fast attacks you know uh he it, he in Hyrule Warriors he fights with the with the uh, ocarina and then uh he doesn't really do much other than use magic so it's real hard to you know gauge any attacks that he would have but those are just the ones that I like to use so that's him in action. Old Skull Kid. Tearing him up. And I really do like the, the design for the Skull Kid. And uh, all of the characters really, you know, these costumes that they made, the characters might not be in the game, but it's still so cool that you get to make them uh, like this. I just wish they didn't all have the exact same size. So all of these me characters are all the same height. So, you know, Skull Kid is the size of a grown man, you know, based off of all the other characters in the game. So, it is what it is. I still like it. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it... <laughs> this is, like, so, such a wasted video because it's, like, so easy to make him. But, you know, maybe you hadn't thought of it, and maybe this is, you know, the help that you needed. And if it was, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm Captain Spidey Fist, and I'm out of here.